Good evening, guys. Uh, I'm Hemant Sharma. I'm uh, working as a senior UX designer at uh, CK12 Foundation. And uh, um, I've uh, really not presented such a small talk before, but I'll try my best to do it in five minutes. So uh, can I get a quick hands up on how many of you are designers here? OK. Uh, so this is originally a three-hour presentation, but uh, uh, I'll try to be done in five minutes because I have really uh, scrapped a lot of slides and I've just made it a small glimpse of the whole uh, presentation. If you miss anything, catch me offline. Uh, and if you're interested in discussing more, let's do it. So uh, what is design, right? By the way, uh, can you guys quickly tell me the difference between or the similarities between doctors, priests, and uh, designers? OK. Well taken. Any other similarity? Quickly. I believe, based on my experience, uh, no two of the same kind agree with each other easily, right? So uh, I've had a lot of arguments with fellow designers. I have seen the same thing happen with doctors and even the priests. Yeah, you, you have a lot of other uh, kind of people to add. But yeah, thanks, thanks for adding it. So, um, so this, this talk is going to quickly give a brief of why is design necessary and why is it important. So design has no single definition. It does not follow rules. It only follows guidelines and philosophy. It is functional. It, uh, it has a selling point. And design is subjective. It is design, design is done for a purpose. And uh, design, if you look at it from an advertisement perspective, it's a concept. If you look at it from a UX perspective, it can be a solution. If you look at it from a visual design perspective, partially it can be color. And there are a lot of other areas of design that are extremely important to survive. Right? Uh, throughout this three or four minutes that I have left, I'll try and touch upon two major topics uh, in that previous list that you saw. Can uh, This is an example of an art. Can people quickly point me to what this is? What do you think this is? Sorry? Lord Ganesh. OK, anything else? Tree? Tree? Fish? OK. Uh, the painter calls this an apple tree, right? Uh, the reason I'm showing this is because art can be interpreted in different ways because it is majorly relying on emotion and uh, expression of mind, right? It doesn't have to serve a purpose. It doesn't have to solve a problem. Design needs to solve a problem. So I don't think this can be interpreted in many different ways, right? So that's the important of importance of design, and that's the difference between design and art. So practice safe design, use a concept. I really love this. Uh, if, if you have heard the other quote, you can easily relate it to that. Um, and it's extremely important. So conceptually, it, it's better to have a simple and smart concept. And one idea is always best, because you kind of help your audience also interpret your idea in the same way. And you don't open up many uh, options for guesses. This is one good example I wanted to show. I have a lot of other examples, but because the time is short, I just stuck to this. Here, the thing I want to stress upon is that it's not only limited to Photoshop or Illustrator or any design tool you use, but the concept is uh, all the way taken till the execution phase, right? The lights are really switched off where it is unnecessary. Uh, color. So there are three models I want to talk about. Uh, one being additive. That is what you generally see on your screens. That's the hex uh, values for uh, colors that you use in CSS and stuff. That's called RGB. They, they are basically light emitted sources. And then you have the subtractive model that are generally paints, inks, dyes, and all that. That's why for printers, you see cartridges, cartridges that have C, M, and Y. Uh, and then you have the RYB model, which is the red, yellow, and blue model, which predates the modern color theory. I'll talk a little bit about the RYB model. So uh, here, you have the red, yellow, and blue. These are generally called primary colors. 
Uh, how many of you knew this? Okay, for those who don't know, it's extremely important to uh, understand this. I'll, I'll tell you why. That's the whole point of my slide, right? So these are called primary colors. When you mix yellow and red, you get orange. When you mix red and blue, you get purple. When you mix blue and yellow, you get green. So orange, purple, and green are called secondary colors, right? When you mix each primary color with its adjacent secondary color, you get a tertiary color, right? So to summarize, color wheel is not something a designer who was on a hangover got up and thought about using Vibgyar and who did, uh, you know, circular color gradient. It's well thought out. When you add blacks and whites, you see different tones of the colors. Without any tones, all the primary, secondary, and tertiary colors are called the pure colors. We have different color schemes, monochromatic. Pick one color in the color wheel and design the whole thing with that tonality. Right? Analogous, pick one color, pick two adjacent colors and design the whole thing with that. Right? Then complementary, pick the opposite color in the color wheel and design your uh, stuff. There are other uh, color schemes that I cannot talk about because I'm running short of time. Uh, then we also choose colors based on emotions. These are called hot colors. These are called, <coughs> sorry, cold colors. The image is not loading. You can look up this slide. Oh yeah, this is called cold colors. Uh, there are other different colors based on emotions as well. Similarly, there are a lot of other concepts of design which are very important, well thought out, and which are extremely essential when you think about design, when you think about any of the design concepts that I mentioned in uh, some of the beginning slides, right? So why design? The whole motive of why I want to present this deck today is to just uh, request the developers to understand the design from uh, in depth and from more of a philosophical and theoretical uh, uh, perspective just to appreciate design right um, and i have worked a long way in my career and i've seen a lot of gap between designers and developers i think if each other understands their uh, uh, the the subject of the other uh, community you can have a healthy relationship right that's all. Thank you.